My lord. Yes, I am Newt. I didn't hear you come in. So I noticed. And what, may I ask, has so captured your attention? Oh, it's, oh, it's just a, a, a magazine, a woman's magazine, my lord. A woman's magazine? <laughs> yes, my lord, it came with the papers this morning. It's uh, after you gone. It's called Her. Well, I don't mind what it's called, Newt, but what I want to know is why are you sitting around in the middle of the afternoon reading it instead of getting on with some work? But I'm so sorry, my lord. It was an article that just happened to catch my eye. What sort of an article? <laughs> well, um, a medical article, my lord. Yes, just as I feared. Newt, do you think it's very wise for you to read that sort of thing? <laughs> but it's taught me something about women that I didn't know before. I don't doubt it, Newt. <laughs> and it's probably something that you don't know as well. I don't doubt that either, Newt. Well, did you know, my lord, that elephants don't have any trouble at all? <laughs> because, you see, however... Heavy the load, they always keep moving their legs. <laughs> what are you talking about, Newt? Varicose veins. <laughs> oh, so it really was a medical article, was it? Well, of course, Lord. What did you think it was? Uh, oh, well, never mind what I thought, Newt. <laughs> Don't you think want to know how I got on today? Oh, yes, my Lord. Did you manage to get a biscuit barrel for the yes, dean? Yes, I did, Newt, after tramping round half the jeweller's shops oh. in London. There, now. What do you think? Of that. Oh, that'll do, won't it? Yeah, well, it ought to keep him quiet. Have you had it engraved? Oh, well, of course not, Newt. I didn't have the time. Besides, do you know how much it would have cost? Pew Critchley is a very long name. Oh, I didn't think of that, but Lord. Well, how much is my share? Well, I should think you and the Archdeacon each owe me ten pounds. <laughs> oh, do we? <laughs> oh, do you think that's too much? Well, no, I suppose not really, my Lord, but I, I think the Archdeacon might. Yes, you could be right, Newt. I've noticed that Henry isn't very keen on the idea of giving the Dean a present. Oh, no, he certainly isn't, my lord. Do you know, after you'd left this morning, he came round to try and stop you. Did he? Yes, and when he found that you'd gone, he was very cross. Oh, I... oh that'll probably be him now. Shall I go and see him, my lord? Yes, if yes. you would, Newt. I... <laughs> so, that's what they wear under their see-through dresses. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, my lord. Uh, Ah, hello, Henry. Come along. I'm sorry you missed me this morning. So am I, Bishop. However, nothing you could have said could have stopped me. There is no choice. We simply have to buy the Dean a present for his silver wedding. I disagree. But surely, I think you must agree that 25 years of marriage is quite an achievement. Yes, for his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, even you must admit that some credit is due to the Dean. Uh, no, Bishop. Not after last night. Last night? What happened last night? I saw him in Bridge Street with a blonde. The Dean? <laughs> oh, you can't have done, Archdeacon. But I did. What was he doing? Oh, oh, coming out of our house. When was this? Oh, well, after ten o'clock. Who? Oh, who's that? Did, did you speak to him? Oh, no, Bishop. He didn't see me. Re really, Henry? Are you suggesting that the Dean is deceiving his wife on the eve of their silver wedding? Well, he's at a dangerous age, Bishop. Oh, nonsense, Henry. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I say steady on that, uh, Bishop. No, no, I mean it, Henry. What? You come creeping round here with nasty, mean little bits of gossip just because you don't want to buy him a present. Really, it's very unworthy of you. I'm sorry, Bishop. And so you jolly well ought to be, Henry. In any case, why are you so dead set against giving the poor man a present anyway? Because he keeps on asking for one, Bishop. Yes, my lord, he has been dropping a lot of hints about biscuit barrels, oh, hasn't he? Well, perhaps he's dropped a few. A few? All <laughs> right, Henry, more than a few. Well, frankly, my lord, I think it's been very embarrassing. Not nearly as embarrassing, Newt, as if we let the occasion slip by without marking it. Now, remember, both of you, we have to work with the Dean. Point taken, Bishop. Right. And that settled. Now, I'll show you this, Henry. Oh, what do you think of it? Hmm, very nice. Your share is ten pounds, Archdeacon. Ten pounds? For that? Oh, but Henry, really, it's all I could find. And I mean, with silver at the price it is, I think it is an absolute bargain at twenty-one pounds. At twenty. Did you say twenty-one pounds? Oh, well, that uh, includes the box. Well, if you say the biscuit barrel costs 21 pounds and the archdeacon and I are given 10 pounds each, that means that you're only giving a pound. What about my expenses, Newt? No. Oh, well, of course, there's your fare to London, isn't there? Let me see, I return, that is, uh, what, two pounds? Not first class, it isn't. 
And I had to have lunch on the way back. But surely that doesn't come to nine pounds. It does with taxis. You'd be surprised. Yes, I am. Oh, see who that is. Ah, yes, my boy. Oh, come along, Henry. Come and sit down. Oh, thank you, Bishop. Over there. Hello, hello, hello. What's this? Oh, just some woman's magazine, Henry. Oh, really? Gracious. Why, what's the matter? Oh, I shouldn't have thought uh, there was much support in that. Uh, Henry, <laughs> it's the dean, Michael. Oh, oh. Well, look, you better put that biscuit barrel back in the box. Now. Right. What do you suppose he wants, Henry? Oh, I expect he's come to drop another hint. Well, Bishop. we shall soon find out. <laughs> Ask him to come in. <laughs> it's right here, my lord. Uh, will you come in, please, Dean? Ah, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, my lord, Archdeacon. Ah, good, good afternoon, afternoon, Dean. Good afternoon, Dean. Tell me, Dean, what can I do for you? Oh, nothing, my lord. I've just called to remind you what day tomorrow is. Uh, what did I say? I beg your pardon, Archdeacon. Granted. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm just going round the close now, making sure that no one forgets. Well, frankly, Dean, after all the reminders you've given us this last month, I don't think you need have any fear of that. Oh, you think so? Splendid. However, it's better to be safe than sorry. Oh, well, I suppose that's one way of looking at it, Dean. Well, it's certainly mine, my lord. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go. I'm not at all sure that Canon Haywood can be relied upon. Good afternoon, my lord. Good afternoon, Dean. Oh, by the way, my lord. Yes, Dean? You will wear cope and mitre at Matins tomorrow, won't you? My cope and mitre? Whatever for? In honour of the occasion. Oh, really, Dean? This time you've gone too far. <laughs> Far too far. But uh, <laughs> the blessed Saint Og is our patron saint, my lord. Yes, but what's that got to do with it? Well, tomorrow is his festal day. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, Dean. I had no idea that you were talking about St. Og's day. Oh, what did you think I was talking about, my lord? Your silver wedding. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry, no, that was a mistake. Yes. <laughs> Rather an amusing one, my lord. <laughs> oh, very, very. <laughs> Isn't it, Henry? Extremely. <laughs> <laughs> My lord! Yes, Dean? Why should I remind you about my silver wedding? Oh, well, I, I didn't mean remind exactly, Dean. It was just, well, uh, well, um... Uh, drop a hint? Uh, that's right. Drop a hint. Why should I drop a hint about my silver wedding? Oh, well, I thought perhaps you wouldn't like the, the day to pass entirely unmarked. Mm, I hope you're not suggesting, my lord, that I was fishing for gifts. Oh, well, not exactly fishing. Mm. Dean. We have got you a gift, Dean. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, indeed we have. It's in this box. Would you like to take it home with you? I'm uh, sorry, my lord. I don't wish to appear ungracious, but I'm not sure that I can accept a gift which is not freely given. Oh, but I can assure you, my dear Dean, it is entirely freely given from us all. Isn't it, Henry? Uh, yes, Bishop, uh, especially from you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you are imagining that I was dropping hints, my lord... Oh, no, 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 Dean, of course not. We insist that you take it. It's a biscuit barrel, Dean. <laughs> a biscuit barrel? Oh, <laughs> yes, I've always wanted one of those. <laughs> How did you know? Intuition, shall we call it, Dean? Yes, I... Oh, really, my lord, I... <laughs> yes, I'm most delighted. I must go and show it to Grace. Oh, of course, Dean, of course. Tell me, how is dear Mrs. Pugh very busy with her preparations for tomorrow? Oh, I imagine so, my lord, yes. Oh, don't you know, Dean? Well, no, I've had to be out so much lately that we haven't seen much of each other. Oh, really, Dean? I'm very sorry to hear that. There's no need to be, my lord. After all, we have been married for five and twenty years. Uh, oh, yes, of course, of course. Of course, we, uh, we bachelors, we don't understand much about marriage. <laughs> you could hardly expect to, my lord. <laughs> and uh, thank you for the biscuit barrel. Not all, not all. Oh, thank goodness that's over. Now, we've just got time to do the mail before tea. Right with him, my lord. And, Henry, I suppose you will be dashing off somewhere? Uh, no, Bishop. Well, haven't you got to go and chair the Ways and Means Committee, Archdeacon? No, oh, I'm in no hurry. Ah, oh, aren't you, Henry? Then what are your plans? Well, I thought I'd just stay here and just look at this magazine. Oh, there's a very interesting article in it, Archdeacon. Oh, is there? Yes, it's all about women's legs. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'd like to see that. Henry, I didn't know you were interested in varicose veins. Varicose veins? I, uh, I thought Newt said... I uh, know what you thought, Henry. Come along, Newt. Get down some work. Yes, my boy. Yes. Ah, now, then. these, I suppose, are the figures of the diocesan confirmation. Are they? Yes, but we'll only up until Easter. Do I see. <laughs> Henry, please. <laughs> we are busy. Oh, I'm sorry, Bishop. 
<laughs> uh, I think these figures need analyzing, Newt. Uh, yes, of course, my lordies. Oh, and that, that is reply to the uh, invitation from St. Chad. Ah, yes, the 18th. Uh, <laughs> Henry, <laughs> do you mind? I'm trying to work. I'm sorry, Bishop. It's this letter. What letter? <laughs> oh, is that the problem, Page Archdeacon? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Marjorie Holmes. Yes, yes. Marjorie Holmes, Colin, my lord, is really awfully oh. good. Yes, yes, yes. And so are the letters. <laughs> Look at this one. Which one, Henry? Look here. Here, Bishop. Confused of Plymouth. Oh, good gracious. What an extraordinary suggestion for a milkman to make. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, and in Lent, too. <laughs> it surprises me, really, my lord, that people are so frank. Yes. This one's Frank, all right. What? Guilty of Norwood? <laughs> oh, no, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Well, at least she feels guilty, Henry. That's something. Well, come along. We can't waste time. Hey, look, Lord. Here's one from St. Ogg's. Uh, well, yeah, we hear my Lord. Uh, worried St. Ogg's. I'm afraid my husband doesn't love me anymore. Oh, dear me. Tut, tut. He has always been a homebird, but has suddenly start going out at night. I have never used lipstick, but when I did the washing last week, I noticed a great smear of it on his collar. That's not too good, Henry. No, very careless of him. <laughs> I don't know where to turn for help. If I told anyone, I'm sure they wouldn't believe me, as he holds an important public office. Uh, what? That must be somebody we know. How about the headmaster of the new comprehensive school? Yes, well, it could be him, of course. He is married. But does his wife use lipstick? Uh, uh yes, Bishop. Uh, peachy pink. <laughs> How on earth do you know that, Henry? Oh, I asked. Uh... Re oh, go on, Luke. Go on reading. It might come a bit clearer. He knows an important public office and is well known for his strong Christian principles. That it's certainly not the headmaster. I wonder who it could be. Is that the end? Okay, well, all it's a bit more, but it's not very helpful. Oh, pity. What does it say? Well, they know they're about to celebrate their silver wedding. Hey, what? <laughs> Great heavens! Well, that's no help, my lord. No help? Are you mad? I mean, lots of people could be about to celebrate their silver wedding. I mean, the dean, for instance. Uh, precisely, Newt. <laughs> the dean. Yes, well, there you are. Who's <laughs> Newt? <laughs> ah, what do you think about that, Henry? Yes, uh... I told you he was with a blonde, Bishop. Yes, Henry, and I'm afraid you are right. Oh, but that can't possibly be right, be right, my lord, because you yourself said that the Archdeacon wasn't to assume too much from that ah, incident. Ah, that was before I read this but letter. it could just be a coincidence, my lord. One thing could be new, but not three. Important public office, strong Christian principles, silver wedding. And no lipstick. And that too, Henry. Now... Just tell me one woman, quite apart from Mrs. Pugh Critchley, in St. Ogg's who doesn't use lipstick. Oh, well, there must be dozens. They're all done. <coughs> well, uh, well, what about the presenter's mother? Under 90, Newt. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about Deaconess Salgrave? Uh, oh, yes, well, I'll give you Deaconess Salgrave. No, Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Surely she doesn't use lipstick, does she, Henry? Oh, uh, yes, she does, yes, on Saturday nights. Are you sure, <laughs> Archie? <laughs> yes, yes. I happen to know. <laughs> but really, my lord, the, the Dean and Mrs. Pugh they've always seemed such a devoted couple. They may appear so, Newt, but who knows what goes on when they are alone and the deanery doors are shut. Grace, my love. I'm in the morning room, Lionel. What have you got there? It's from the palace, my love. They've given us a present. I should hope they have, after all you've done for them. Mm. What is it? A biscuit barrel. A biscuit barrel? Yes. You know how much I've always wanted one. Yes, Lionel, I, I know you have. Yes. I hoped we should get your father's, but he left it to Ethel. Yes, dear. I always said he shouldn't have done that. Mm. Well, it's very gratifying to know that we have one at last. But how did they know? Uh, between ourselves, my love. I dropped a hint. Oh, Lionel, should you have done that? I felt I had to. Heaven knows what they might have come up with. Oh, that's true. Well, now you're back, I'll go and make tea. No, no, my love, I have to go out. Oh, Lionel, not again. I'm afraid so. But you've been out every evening for weeks. Cannot be helped. Well, what is it this time? The Ways and Means Committee, I suppose. They are meeting, yes. Well, it's a great pity they can't find someone else to take the chair. You're far too conscientious. How long will you be? Uh, some time, I'm afraid. Goodbye, my love. Uh, goodbye, Lionel. 
Uh, oh, Lionel. Yes, my love. Does this mean you won't be back for at least uh, half an hour? Oh, I'm afraid so. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing, nothing. I was just thinking about tea. Of course, of course. Goodbye, my love. Uh, goodbye, Lionel. forming an illicit union. Yes, and keeping a mistress too. Oh, yeah. Well, I just can't believe it. Well, it's no good taking that attitude, Newt. We've just got to face up to it. What are you going to say to Mrs. Pugh Critchley? Uh, my dear Newt, Mrs. Pugh Critchley has chosen to go to Miss Marjorie Holmes for advice. And frankly, I'm very relieved that she has, because I wouldn't know what to say to her. Uh, oh, see who it oh, is. Yes, my lord. Hello, the palace and dogs, Bishop's chaplain speaking. Oh, yes. Hello, Mrs. Pugh Richley. <laughs> Who? Who? Who will I tell his lordship, Mrs. Pugh Richley? Thank you. That was Mrs. Pugh Richley. <laughs> what does she want? Well, she wants to see you privately on rather a delicate matter. But, but I mean, she can't. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, really, this is a nightmare. What am I going to do? Hey, Henry, for goodness sake, suggest something. Oh, why not try this, Bishop? What? <laughs> oh, yes, my lord. Marjorie Holmes, oh, my lord. It's always... Oh, I mean, that is, it's terribly good, I believe. Shall I read it to you? Oh, yes, you might as well look at nothing behalf. else. Your husband is at a dangerous age. Yeah, what did I say, Bishop? I'm getting fed up with what you say, Henry. <laughs> you say you don't wear lipstick? Have you let yourself go? Are you still the bride he married? A little lipstick can work wonders. Lipstick? What's a good a lipstick, Newt? I can just see myself recommending Mrs. Pugh Critchley to use lipstick. But it might work, my lord. It does make a difference to ladies, doesn't it, Archdeacon? Oh, uh, yes, it certainly does, yes. Uh, Bishop, give me this. Uh, dear Henry, what's this? Um, peachy pink. Who's <laughs> that? Yes, yes, I bought it for Deaconess uh, Salgrave. Oh, well, thank you, Henry. Go on, Newt. Oh, well, however, if you don't feel this will help, why not talk the problem over with someone who knows you both, your doctor or a family friend? Hmm. <laughs> it could be there is something wrong with the, oh dear, the intimate side of your marriage. Well, it looks as though Mrs. Pugh Christie has decided that lipstick won't work, my lord, and she's coming around to talk to you about the, um, well, you know. <laughs> what? Henry, Henry. You'll have to talk to her for me. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, Bishop, I'm off. But you can't leave me like this, Henry. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> Are you going to the Ways and Means Committee, Archdeacon? Yes. Well, I'll come with you, then. Oh, no, no, you're nothing to do with the Ways and Means Committee. No, no, my lord, no, but I, I've just got to go and catch the post. Come along, no, 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 Archdeacon. Thank you, yes, yes. Oh, but... Archdeacon, uh, here's your hat. Oh, thank you, thank you. Quickly, otherwise we won't catch the post. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Do I know about the intimate side of... Oh. <laughs> Dear lady, I'm so sorry. Ah, Bishop, I wanted to see you. Yes, but are you sure you wouldn't rather see your doctor? <laughs> doctor? Why should I want the doctor? Well, I, I, I just thought it might be more help. <laughs> really, Bishop? If this is a joke, I'm afraid I don't quite see the humour of it. <laughs> so sorry, dear lady. Do, do come into the study. Thank you. <laughs> do, do, do sit down, dear lady. Thank you. Uh, Bishop, I've come to talk about Lionel. Yes, I, 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 I was rather afraid that you had. I'll come straight to the point. Oh, please don't stand there fidgeting. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear lady. <laughs> Bishop, there are some things in life a man doesn't need two of. <laughs> No, indeed. You agree? Oh, I mean, quite definitely, dear lady. In fact, I will go further. I will say there are some things in life that a man has no right to have two of. Ah, then you won't blame me for speaking out when I find poor dear Lionel in this position. On the contrary, madam, I admire you for the way you're facing up to the situation. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Not at all, not at all. Well, then, the only problem is which one is he to have? <laughs> dear 
Dear lady, there can be no question. Yours is the prior claim. Ah, that's just what I hoped you'd say. Well, then, that settles that. Ah, but one moment, madam. Ought we not to ask ourselves how the situation arose in the first place? Ah, well, of course, I must admit, it's all Lyle's fault. All his fault? Certainly, but I can't blame him. You see, he's always wanted one. <laughs> <laughs> Has he? Oh, yes. Always? Throughout our marriage, it's become almost an obsession with him. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, dear lady, you needn't answer this if you find it too embarrassing. But have you ever asked yourself why he has this obsession? I can't say that I have. I mean, you don't think it could be due to any little uh, failure on your part? Me? Well, I mean, is there perhaps something you, you, you should have done and haven't? I don't think so. I've always made every effort not to let them go soft. <laughs> well, 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 dear lady, do you think perhaps we should ask ourselves what it is that the other woman has to offer him? Woman? What woman? Well, the woman we're talking about. Well, I've been talking about a biscuit barrel. <laughs> a biscuit barrel? You've bought him a biscuit barrel, and so have I. Lionel doesn't need two biscuit barrels. Oh, I don't, my, my dear Mrs. Richard. <laughs> I, I'm afraid we've been talking at cross purposes. But what's all this about a woman? Well, I'm sorry, madam, but I presumed you'd come here about your problem, uh, having seen the letter. What letter? Well, your letter in this uh, magazine. Oh, Bishop, surely you don't take her. Well, don't know, of course not, madam. It was wrongly delivered. Oh, it's probably mine. I haven't had this week's. Then you haven't seen your letter yet. My letter? I haven't written any letter. You cannot deny that you wrote that letter. Read it. From Worried? St. Ogg's. I'm afraid my husband doesn't love me anymore. He's always been a home bird, but he suddenly started going out at night. <laughs> Surely you don't think that I wrote this. Well, if you didn't, who did? Well, I expect it was Sylvia Cleghorn. Hey. What? Not the wife of the chairman of the water board? I mean, I mean, he's got very strong Christian principle. Yes, but he left for Dublin with his secretary on Wednesday. I can't believe it. You can't, can't you, Bishop? Yet you were quite prepared to believe it of your own dean. Uh, ah, yes, but only after he was seen in Bridge Street with a blonde. I, I, I mean, a woman. Lionel? In Bridge Street? Who saw him? The Archdeacon. Ah, oh, the Archdeacon. And when, pray, did he see him? Last night, after ten o'clock. I see. Well, Bishop, I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. Will you please go and telephone Lionel at once? Uh, oh, la la dear lady, don't be too hasty. Will you please do as I say? Oh, well, where is he? Taking the chair at the Ways and Means Committee. Mm, all right. All right. Oh. But he isn't. I tell you, he is. But he can't be. The archdeacon's taking it. Fiddlesticks. Lionel is. He told me so himself not a quarter of an hour ago. Oh, my lord. Oh, oh. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Newt, you are. But don't apologise. What is it? I've seen it. Who? The dean. Speak up. The dean. Well, <laughs> at the Ways and Means Committee. No, in, in Bridge Street. In Bridge Street? Yes, I wrote a personal letter, a little pillar box on the corner, and while I was oh, out, never mind. I'm not all right. <laughs> what was the dean doing? Well, he was with our, a lady, his our fair-haired lady. You mean he was talking to her? No, he was going into her house. <gasps> there. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, I can't believe it. Lyle with another woman after all these years. <laughs> Oh, it's too much. Oh, no, 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 quick, go and get Mrs. Pukritsky a glass of sherry. Yes. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Now, no, 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 dear lady, please try, try not to upset yourself. Oh, here, look, have a glass of sherry. But, Bishop, I never drink. Well, now is the time to start. <laughs> Bishop, what shall I do? What shall I do? You must advise me. Oh, but, my dear lady, I'm afraid I can't. Well, somebody must. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Pukritchley. Miss Marjorie Holmes already has. You see, your husband is at a dangerous age, and you've let yourself go. Go! <laughs> I've done nothing of the kind. 
No, 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 no. What my chaplain means is, are you still the bride that your husband married? Of course not. And after 25 years, I can assure you he isn't the bridegroom either. <laughs> well, uh, in that case, Newt, um, has Miss Marjorie Holmes any more advice? Well, only lipstick, my lord. Of course, of course. Uh, Mrs. Pukachli, have you ever thought of using lipstick? Lipstick? Of course not. Lionel hates lipstick. Are you sure? Of course I am. He says it's thoroughly unhygienic and an insult to womanhood. I see. Newt, was the lady in Bridge Street wearing lipstick? Yes, my lord, she certainly was. There. You see, perhaps he doesn't hate it quite as much as you think. But I, I don't understand. Well, why don't you try some, Mrs. Pukritz? Oh, no, 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 oh. I, I, I could Yes, of course, look, I happen to have some here. <laughs> why don't you go up to the bathroom, put a little on, and come down and show us? Oh, yes. Miss Marjorie Holmes says it'll work wonders. But Will it really make so much difference? Well, how shall we know, dear lady, till you've agreed to try? <laughs> well, perhaps, Bishop, if you say so. I do, I do. Uh, oh, uh, my glass. Uh, quick, note the decanter. Oh, yes, oh no, no, Bishop, really. Yes, I'm yes, not... madam, I'm sorry. Yes, no, 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 yes, madam, just a little bit more. <laughs> there we are. Hey, yes, you can bring the rest with you. Come along, <laughs> quick as you can. Off you go, up to the bathroom, and bring us down a beautiful surprise. <laughs> well, if you put it like that, Bishop, I can hardly refuse. Of course you can't, madam, I won't let you. Up you go. <laughs> oh, you were wonderful, my oh, lord. Thank you, Newt. I don't know how you did it. Well, you know, Newt, there are moments in one's life when one just knows that one has done the right thing. Yes. Oh, that's that. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes. Oh, it's the Dean. Back again, my Lord. So I see, Dean. I wonder if I might leave this with you tonight, my Lord. It is my present to my wife, and I do not wish her to see it until tomorrow. Oh, you're still giving her a present, are you, Dean? <laughs> what do you mean? My chaplain has just seen you in Bridge Street, Dean. Indeed? Yes, with your fair lady, Dean. <laughs> ah, you mean Mrs. Johnson? Ah, that's what her name is, is it? Uh, you've been seeing rather a lot of Mrs. Johnson recently, Dean. Yes. Almost every night for the last three weeks, my lord. <laughs> but believe me, the result is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> the result? What result? This. Uh, <laughs> did Mrs. Johnson do that? Yes. Rather a fine piece of work, don't you think, my lord? Oh, but Dean, you see, we thought uh, that she them. Is that all that you have been doing in Bridge Street, Dean? Uh, all, my lord. What else should I be doing? After all, it's not a very agreeable neighbourhood. No, see, Bishop... Quiet, <laughs> no. <laughs> Dean, I don't think we need keep you any longer. You no, know, I to... must get back to Grace, my lord. We, we thought, Dean... Quiet, no! But there's no point in danger for Mrs. Pilfish from all the time she's up there. Grace? Do I hear Grace? I've put it off, but I can't for the life of me see what difference... Lalo. <laughs> Grace, my love, what are you doing here? Don't call me that, please. Call you what? Your love. Why on earth not? You know quite well why not. No, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Eh? What have you got on your mouth? <laughs> lipstick. Lipstick. It's lipstick. Can't you see? You know I detest lipstick. I know you say you do. What does that mean? Doesn't it depend who's wearing it? Ooh. I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. What I'm going to do, my lord. I am telephoning Marjorie Holmes, Newt, to see if she's got any more advice. <laughs> I intend to do. And why are you drinking? The Indeed. The bishop may have That biscuit barrel back in the box, no. I know. What do you suppose he wants, Henry? Oh, I expect he's come to drop another hint. Well, Bishop. we shall soon find out. <laughs> Ask him to come in, Newt. It's right in here, Lord. Uh, will you come in, please, Dean? Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, my lord, Archdeacon. Uh, good, good afternoon, afternoon Dean. Good afternoon, Dean. Tell me, Dean, what can I do for you? Uh, nothing, my lord. I've just called to remind you what day tomorrow is. What did I say? 
I beg your pardon, Archdeacon. Can't it? I'm just going round the close now, making sure that no one forgets. Well, frankly, Dean, after all the reminders you've given us this last month, I don't think you need have any fear of that. Oh, you think so? Splendid. However, it's better to be safe than sorry. Oh, well, I suppose that's one way of looking at it, Dean. Well, it's certainly mine, my lord. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go. I'm not at all sure that Canon Haywood can be relied upon. Good afternoon, my lord. Good afternoon, Dean. Oh, by the way, my lord. Yes, Dean? You will wear cope and mitre at Matins tomorrow, won't you? My cope and mitre? Whatever for? In honour of the occasion. Oh, really, Dean? This time you've gone too far. <laughs> Far too far. But uh, <laughs> the blessed Saint Og is our patron saint, my lord. Yes, but what's that got to do with it? Well, tomorrow is his festal day. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, Dean. I had no idea that you were talking about St. Og's day. Oh, what did you think I was talking about, my lord? Your silver wedding. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry, no, that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Rather an amusing one, my lord. <laughs> oh, very, very, yes. <laughs> Isn't it, Henry? Extremely. <laughs> 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 My lord! Yes, Dean? Why should I remind you about my silver wedding? Oh, well, I, I didn't mean remind exactly, Dean. It was just, well, uh, well, um... Uh, drop a hint? Uh, that's right, drop a hint. Why should I drop a hint about my silver wedding? Oh, well, I thought perhaps you wouldn't like the, the day to pass entirely unmarked. Mm, I hope you're not suggesting, my lord, that I was fishing for gifts. Oh, well, not exactly fishing. Mm. Well, he's at a dangerous age, Bishop. Oh, nonsense, Henry. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I say steady on, uh, Bishop. No, no, I mean it, Henry. What? You come creeping round here with nasty, mean little bits of gossip just because you don't want to buy him a present. Really, it's very unworthy of you. I'm sorry, Bishop. And so you jolly well ought to be, Henry. In any case, why are you so dead set against giving the poor man a present anyway? Because he keeps on asking for one, Bishop. Yes, my lord, he has been dropping a lot of hints about biscuit barrels, oh, hasn't he? Well, perhaps he's dropped a few. A few? <laughs> All right, Henry, more than a few. Well, frankly, my lord, I think it's been very embarrassing. Not nearly as embarrassing, Newt, as if we let the occasion slip by without marking it. Now, remember, both of you, we have to work with the dean. Point taken, Bishop. Right. And that's settled. Now, I'll show you this, Henry. Oh, what do you think of it? Hmm, very nice. Your share is ten pounds, Archdeacon. Ten pounds? For oh, that? Oh, but Henry, really, it's all I could find. And I mean, with silver at the price it is, I think it is an absolute bargain at twenty-one pounds. At twenty. Did you say twenty-one pounds? That uh, includes the box. Well, if you say the biscuit barrel costs twenty-one pounds, and the archdeacon and I are given ten pound each, that means that you're only giving a pound. What about my expenses, Newt? Oh, well, of course, there's your fare to London. Let me see. I return. That is, uh, what, two pounds? Not first class, it isn't. And I have to have lunch on the way back. But surely that doesn't come to nine pounds. It does with taxis. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Oh, see who that is, will you? Yes, my boy. Yes. Oh, come along, Henry. Come and sit down. Oh, thank you, Bishop. Over there. Hello, hello, hello. What's this? Oh, just some yes. woman's magazine, Henry. Oh, really? Gracious. Why, what's the oh. matter? Oh, I shouldn't have thought uh, there was much support in that. Uh, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dean, my boy. Oh, we look. Yes, I am, Newt. But I didn't hear you come in. So I noticed. And what, may I ask, has so captured your attention? 
Oh, it's, oh, it's just a, a, a magazine, a woman's magazine, my lord. A woman's magazine? <laughs> yes, my lord, it came with the papers this morning. It's uh, after you'd gone, it's called her. Well, I don't mind what it's called, do, but what I want to know is why are you sitting around in the middle of the afternoon reading it instead of getting on with some work? Well, I'm so sorry, my lord, there's an article that just happened to catch my eye. Oh. What sort of an article? <laughs> you? Well, um, a medical article, my lord. Yes, just as I feared. Newt, do you think it's very wise for you to read that sort of thing? <laughs> but it's taught me something about women that I didn't know before. I don't doubt it, Newt. <laughs> and it's probably something that you don't know as well. I don't doubt that either, Newt. Well, did you know, my lord, that elephants don't have any trouble at all? <laughs> <laughs> because, you see, however heavy the load, they always keep moving their legs. <laughs> what are you talking about, Newt? Varicose veins. <laughs> oh, so it really. Dean. We have got you a gift, Dean. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, indeed we have. It's in this box. Would you like to take it home with you? Uh, I'm sorry, my lord. I don't wish to appear ungracious, but I'm not sure that I can accept a gift which is not freely given. Oh, but I can assure you, my dear Dean, it is entirely freely given from us all, isn't it, Henry? Oh, uh, yes, Bishop, uh, especially from you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you are imagining that I was dropping hints, my lord... Oh, no, 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 Dean, of course not. We insist that you take it. It's a biscuit barrel, Dean. A biscuit barrel? Oh, <laughs> yes, I've always wanted one of those. <laughs> How did you know? Intuition, shall we call it, Dean? Yes, I... Oh, really, my lord, I... Yes, I'm most delighted. I must go and show it to Grace. Oh, of course, Dean, of course. Tell me, how is dear Mrs. Pugh Critchley very busy with her preparations for tomorrow? Oh, I imagine so, my lord, yes. Oh, don't you know, Dean? Well, no, I've had to be out so much lately that we haven't seen much of each other. Oh, really, Dean? I'm very sorry to hear that. There's no need to be, my lord. After all, we have been married for five and twenty years. Eh, oh, yes, of course, of course. Of course, we, uh, we bachelors, we don't understand much about marriage. <laughs> you could hardly expect to, my lord. <laughs> and uh, thank you for the biscuit barrel. Not all, not all. Oh, thank goodness that's over. Now, we've just got time to do the mail before tea. Right, with him, my lord. And, Henry, I suppose you will be dashing off somewhere? Uh, no, Bishop. Well, haven't you got to go and chair the Ways and Means Committee, Archdeacon? Oh, I'm in no hurry. Ah, oh, aren't you, Henry? Then what are your plans? Well, I thought I'd just stay here and just look at this magazine. Oh, there's a very interesting article in Large Deacon. Oh, is there? Yes, it's all about women's legs. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'd like to see that. Henry, I didn't know you were interested in varicose veins. Varicose veins? I, uh, I thought Newt said... Uh... I know what you thought, Henry. Come along, Newt, get down some work. Yes, but what? Yes. Ah, now then. These, I suppose, it was a medical article, was it? Well, of course, Lord. What did you think it was? Eh, oh, well, never mind what I thought, Newt. <laughs> Don't you think, want to know how I got on today? Oh, yes, but Lord, did you manage to get a biscuit barrel for the yes, dean? Yes, I did, Newt, after tramping round half the jewellers' shops oh. in London. There, now. What do you think of that? Oh, that'll do, won't it? Yeah, well, it ought to keep him quiet. Have you had it engraved? Oh, well, of course not, Newt. I didn't have the time. Besides, do you know how much it would have cost? Pew Critchley is a very long name. Oh, I didn't think of that, but Lord. Well, how much is my share? Well, I think you and the archdeacon each owe me ten pounds. Oh, do we? Oh, do you think that's too much? Well, no, I suppose not, really, my lord, but I, I think the archdeacon might. Yes, you could be right, Newt. I've noticed that Henry isn't very keen on the idea of giving the dean a present. Oh, no, he certainly isn't, my lord. Do you know, after you'd left this morning, he came round to try and stop you. Did he? Yes, and when he found that you'd gone, he was very cross. Oh. I Oh, that'll probably be him now. Shall I go and see him, my lord? Yes, if you yes. would, Newt. I... <laughs> so, that's what they wear under their see-through dresses. <laughs> my lord. Ah, hello, Henry. Come along. I'm sorry you missed me this morning. So am I, Bishop. However, nothing you could have said could have stopped me. There is no choice. We simply have to buy the dean a present for his silver wedding. I disagree. But surely, I think you must agree that 25 years of marriage is quite an achievement. Yes, for his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, even you must admit that some credit is due to the dean. Uh, no, Bishop. Not after last night. Last night? What happened last night? I saw him in Bridge Street with a blonde. <laughs> the dean? No, oh, you can't have done, Archdeacon. But I did. What was he doing? Oh, oh, coming out of our house. 
When was this? Oh, well, after ten o'clock. Who? Who's that? Did, did you speak to him? Uh, no, Bishop. He didn't see me. Re really, Henry? Are you suggesting that the Dean is deceiving his wife on the eve of their silver wedding?